Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Michael Fox, and welcome to this Rose City Comic Con 2019 vlog. I had a ton of fun at Rose City Comic Con. Let me try to frame myself up a little bit better here. I got some really cool stuff. I did get some really cool footage uh, that I was pretty happy with. Uh, the kids area was pretty neat this year. They, they still had like tons of really cool kids programming, like a little kids like kids stage. Um, they had people bring out animals, they had puppet shows, uh, trailer coach shows, all sorts of really cool stuff. The kids stuff was pretty good, as it is every year. Rose City Comic Con does really great at that. Um, they also had this really big rock wall that my son had a, he just had a ton of fun with. Uh, he couldn't make it up all the way, uh, but he still had a ton of fun with it. The guests were cool. Um, I get to meet, uh, Monica Real, who does the voice of Bulma, and Sue from, Bulma from Dragon Ball Z, and then, uh, Sue from My Hero Academia. And then I also got to meet Justin Briner, who does the voice of Deku from My Hero Academia, and that was a really cool experience, and I'll show you the cool autographs that I had the monograph the poster. We are going to talk about the con guide. Uh, cool con guide. I love, I really enjoy the artwork that Rose City Comic Con puts on their uh, their con guides. This is last uh, the back of it that does have uh, the dates for next year. If you want to go to Rose City Comic Con, Rose, Rose, City, Rose City Comic Con. Uh, I love that Sasquatch is always, he seems like he's always in the, on the cover somewhere, on the cover art, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you got kind of this cool, uh, this cool chick riding her moped and her comic books are flying off of it. So there was just so much cool stuff. I wished I hadn't been so completely broke that I wished I could have bought more stuff. Like one thing I, I'm kicking myself for not buying is I've been waiting for this booth basically to come to a damn convention that I was near so I know I could get like... Uh, a legit Jiren Funko Pop, or even this, the Todoroki one. They were only 20 bucks a piece, so they were at like basically retail value at the con. That's basically the only place you can get them for retail value is at cons, and I'm just like, I don't have enough money. I already spent like a hundred dollars on autographs, so yeah. Um, I also wish I could have got like Tim Curry's autograph. Um, it was just it was too expensive, unfortunately. Uh, one of the coolest booths I saw at the convention was this this guy that uh, basically full on Fallout cosplay. He had a full on booth that looked like a, a store or a shop that you would find somewhere in the Fallout universe. Uh, it immediately attracted my eye because he was selling uh, basically he was selling all this replica stuff uh, from the Fallout games. <laughs> Let's see if we can trade the baby for new cola. It's a great idea. I ended up getting uh, this really awesome Nuka Cola bottle. Uh, it's by far one of my, like my most favorite things that I've ever seen at a convention. It's it's really well done. The bottle looks like it's old as shit. Um, it definitely says you know do not drink <laughs> on the bottom of it. <laughs> uh, he's basically like yeah don't open it and drink it. Uh, you'll get rads and diarrhea. So don't 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 do it. <laughs> uh, but uh, he had so much cool stuff. There was. Uh, Cola bottles, there was Sunset Sarsaparilla, there was Cram, uh, Mentats, uh, bottles of Buff Out, uh, just all just the little random items that you would uh, find in the game, he was basically selling at his booth. Uh, it was pretty sweet. Alright, so other kind of cool swag bags uh, that they gave out. Uh, Dark Horse was giving out these bags, these big yellow reusable totes again. Um, my son got one that has a cool Minecraft one on it. It's got like the, the creeper exploding. And then my daughter got basically the same one, Dark Horse on one side, and then it's got uh, Frozen. It's got, uh, what's his name? Olaf or whatever. All right, so moving on to what I got autographed. So, um, I got to I got to meet Justin Briner first. His line was a little bit shorter than Monica Real's, so I went to his 
Uh, I just, I think I saw him first. I just jumped in line. They were both about the same. I should have went to Monica's line first because that took forever to get through. Justin Briner is probably one of the coolest dudes uh, to meet. Like, he basically, he is Deku. Like, 100%. Like, he's just the, one of the most happiest, chipper people that you're probably ever going to meet. It was a really cool experience. It, like, it's funny because his... His uh, normal speaking voice is basically pretty much Deku. Like, like he is. When I say he is Deku, like, like everything that you embody the character of Deku to be, it seems like he embodies like the same same type of uh, characterization. I guess. Um, let me get my poster out of this tube. I will show you where what poster I had him on. Because I knew I was going to Rose City Comic Con, so I hunted like. I spent a few a couple weeks trying to find a really awesome poster. I wanted something that had like this. Is, I believe is the the DVD cover to season two, maybe or three. I, I can't I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but this is where he signed it. This had Deku, Justin Briner, Plus Ultra, uh, right on Deku's hair. It was awesome. Uh, again, just a really cool experience meeting the dude. Like he was just. He was just an awesome dude. Um, so, then I got Monica Real's line. Uh, Monica Real was really awesome too. Complete sweetheart. She was always happy just to, to talk to fans and stuff too. Um, she was just... Yeah, she just seemed like a really nice person to talk to. So it was really cool uh, to get to meet her too. Because she's my, she's my new Bulma. I had her add signature to this Goku that I have. I've been collecting autographs on it since about 2007. Goku, Goku here, Sean Schimmel was the first one to uh, to autograph it. Monica Real signed it right next to Vegeta there. She was saying that she was kind of jealous that uh, everybody else had really much cooler signatures than hers. <laughs> I was like, it's fine. I'm happy to add your signature to it. And then I also had her sign my sweet poster. There's Sue. So that's kind of more the bottom of the poster. And then, yeah. She signed it right down by her character down there. I really need to get this one framed and get it up on my wall because it is a really cool. Like I've been really into like posters recently. I want like because I have all this cool stuff and it's cool to have like you know something like this autographed or different things autographed. But it's harder to display some of this some of this stuff just because I don't have room in my house to display it all. The guy that made these basically was just saying that he doesn't get any profit from it. He basically just does it for fellow fans, and I don't, uh, I don't believe that he sells them online or anything. He only sells them at conventions, and that's probably for copyright issues. Um, but I will put uh, a link to his website and his Instagram down in the in the description below. So if you want to check that out, please do. Um, might as well put some information about Real City Comic Con and stuff down below too if you guys are ever interested in that. Um, and then I'll, I might put some put some links to, to the actors, some of the actors stuff too. I don't know. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Uh, if I get to go to Kamori Con or New Con this year, I promise you I'll do a better vlog and actually have some better stuff to show on the sales, not the sales floor, I almost said sales floor. Oh, Best Buy needs to get out of my head. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, what cool things do you have on the graph? What cool things have you found at conventions? Oh, let's talk about conventions. Let's talk about them. What do you love? What'd you get? I don't know. Until next time, guys. Please be kind to each other. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Logical high five.